Hello and welcome, Manpreet. Uh, basically, as you are asking for the code, I have just prepared the code right now. Uh, basically, uh, I'll be sending you three files: uh, the test SQL, the MySQL data .msi file, and the registration file. Uh, my background database is in MySQL, so you have to just first install the MySQL database. Now, how would you install a MySQL database at first? Uh, install, go to Apache, Apache Friends website, and then uh, over there you will find a MySQL installer for Windows. Uh, what you have to do is uh, go to the download section, exam for Windows and then you have to find the downloads downloader that is an installer file that is as 99 MB uh, basically what it, you have to do is just click 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 next next and done and you will be installing your exam over here alright that so far uh, then after you have installed your exam you have to just up close and running your Apache and MySQL uh, you have to basically you have to start these services and after you have started all those services you have to go to localhost forward slash php my admin <coughs> then over here you have to import a file that is the import the database which I have given to you right now the database would be at the test.sql file so you have to choose the file over there and the file would be uh, right now I have the file inside my my computer D drive these the stem file so t uh, right now the test SQL is my file so I'll just import this file and after importing I just hit on go and you will get test database over here now test database is very simple database that consists of three uh, three all attributes or what I say uh, the three attributes contains the uh, username and the password fields and basically our application just uses or registers ourselves so the next the main heart of the thing which you will get is the registration that there are files this zip over here extract here and then you will get the entire project file uh, before just going through the a project just uh, hit the reference manual which I have been created for you now the third file would be uh, like the MySQL data MSI file which you have to install on your computer now I have MySQL just uh, on right now on my computer basically it's just uh, shortened and just a direct installer file which you have to go through it and nothing it's very simple and basically after you have just installed that MSI file you won't get an icon on your desktop just because it would be a library uh, consisting on your computer so after you have installed now that was a MySQL library you have to just reference that library to your project now how would you do this the project uh, add reference and find mysql.data now my computer is very lagging right now so uh, basically you have to find mysql dot data over here mysql dot data and just uh, add this reference to your file and after you have added the reference just go to a play button and you will get the entire application been running so this application has been developed uh, very easily there are basically the login session where you can log in to the uh, test database uh, here you can register our database now if you are haven't registered right now so you can just click your email let's say a sample email over here now I have just done a few validations uh, by putting through the uh, regular expressions validator and etc if you don't get the 
uh, thing right now just leave it so at the rate at gmail dot com uh, give it a password uh, if you don't get a password you have to put in a password uh, let's say one two three and password one two three and hit the register now button so it was very simple so registration success whoopee this is a second page which is a success dot aspx uh, the previous one was a default axpx and right now uh, we are registered and if you want to check out the database so go to php my admin let's hit the php my admin and we will get a test database and inside the test database you will get a login and the last email which was been done was sample at gmail blah 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 and the password was one two three it was uh, now I have to give it a warning here that the password is in plain text you can just uh, refer to the manual of PHP admin and convert it to as encrypt uh, your password using SHA1 or any other encryption algorithm so uh, now as we have been registered so we can just log in now so what was our login I don't know so just copy this email here and just try to basically log into the system and the password was 123 so after the 123 has been done so we have been successfully logged in now so that's it that was a basic application now there was another thing which I have been doing uh, that took me a while for making this application now if you have been logging logged or registered earlier using the same thing let's say I have been uh, registered once more so one two three and register now you will get a thing that uh, you have been registered twice and just because the database don't go, does not get reflects back and you can see that we won't get the another email just because we have been registered twice uh, that's it that was the application uh, hope you get this thing right and if you don't know anything or just get confused enough just uh, leave it me a, an email and I'll be possibly going through your email afterwards and I'll be solving your doubts until you're last soon as possible uh, hope you enjoy this and thanks for watching actually I, th I thought that I missed something uh, this is the another video that I would be doing this and uh, basically after you have installed the exam so you what you have to do is you have to go to the privileges section and you have to add new user add new user uh, give it a username uh, username is like Chirag and give it a password host would be like the local host and give it the password which is one two three four five six and seven that's it afterwards which you can <coughs> just edit and another user uh, give it a, your name uh, give it a password once again now I have been registered or I have been making made a user earlier so after you have we typed all these things you check all these items that means uh, the user can just select the user can insert something the user can update and etc as you can you have checked all you can grant every privileges which you have been you doing to the user now there is a user uh, which is named as Chirag now that will be another I don't want to meet another user so basically for your application to be running yeah, you have to create this user <coughs> and or else you if you want to give it your name uh, just go to the application and there is a VB file that is user.vb over here there is a connection string uh, which you have to see basically I'll explain you this connection string it is a very simple thing uh, the default constructor for the uh, mysql command uh, it takes in how many parameters one to let's say server is localhost the port is 3306 that is the default port uh, our user ID is Chirag. Now, basically, we have been uh, we have just created this user Chirag over here, and for this user ID is Chirag, and our password which we have been given uh, over here, and the database name was test. Uh, remember earlier when I had I had given you that SQL file, so the database name was test. You can give it your near database. Uh, basically, all this thing does is just connects to your database using the given parameters and this was the thing which I missed out earlier I uh, hope you get it now and uh, nothing is left in right now okay thanks